हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज स्नेहा वेलकम टू एके एकेडमी आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स आई एल आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वॉट आर बेसिकली कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स डिफरेंट थियरीज लाइक सी एफ टी एम ओ टी देन स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स एंड देन इन द एंड वेरियस रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म इज द कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स अंडर गो सो लेट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक दैट इज कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री वॉट इज कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री इट इज द ब्रांच ऑफ इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री दैट डील्स विद कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स बट वॉट आर कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स आर द कंपाउंड्स विच हैव गॉट अ केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर इन विच अ सेंट्रल मेटल इज अटैच टू वेर अट्रल अ सेंट्रल मेटल एटम और इट मे बी इट मे बी एटम और इट मे बी आयन अटैच टू द नॉन मेटालिक एटम्स और द ग्रुप ऑफ एटम्स कॉल्ड एज लिगेंड्स बाय मीन्स ऑफ कॉर्डिनेट कोवाल एंड बॉन्ड एंड सच कंपाउंड आर कॉल्ड एज कॉर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड द थिंग इज दैट दीज लिगेंड्स आर नथिंग बट द स्पीशीज विच हैव गॉट एटलीस्ट वन इलेक्ट वन लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन विच दे कैन डोनेट टू द मेटल एटम और अ कटाइन सो द थिंग इज दैट दे आर बेसिकली एक्टिंग लाइक अ लेविस बेस दे आर इलेक्ट्रॉन रिच एंड दे हैव द अबिलिटी टू डोनेट द इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर टू द मेटल सो दे आर एक्टिंग लाइक अ लेविस बेस एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर मेटल और अ सेंट्रल मेटल शुड भी इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियंट एंड शुड भी एबल टू एक्सेप्ट द इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द लिगेंस एंड हैंज एक्टिंग लाइक अ लेविस एसिड सो दिस वॉज रिगार्डिंग द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ना हाउ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स आर एक्चुअली रिप्रेजेंटेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ दिस इज एक्चुअली द जनरल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ कॉर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स दिस कोबार्ट इज नथिंग बट अवर सेंट्रल मेटल एटम दीज आर द लिगेंड्स दैट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट and inside the square bracket this metal is attached to this ligand and this square bracket is actually called as coordination sphere now outside the coordination spheres these ions that you see they are called as counter ions and this part actually is called as ionization sphere so this was about the introductory part the first inorganic chemist that gave a theory regarding formation and the structure of coordination compound was werner werner theory says that every metal has got two types of valencies first one is primary valency and second one is nothing but uh, is the secondary valency now what is basically a primary valency in simple word primary valency corresponds to oxidation number of metal and secondary valency corresponds to coordination number what is coordination number the number of ligands that are surrounding the metal which is which are which are there enclosed into the coordination sphere that is actually coordination number the primary valency is non directional it is actually ionizable valency the secondary valency is directional this is actually a valency that decides geometry of a given coordination compound but this is non ionizable remember these facts werner actually carried out observation regarding cobalt chloride and ammonia complexes and those complex were like these were the complexes that he was studying and he found that all these complexes they were exhibiting different colors and different properties he predicted they must be having structures like this
which means he wanted to say that these three chloride ions are outside the coordination sphere and the ammonia lies inside the coordination sphere and like this and he even gave the evidences for that now uh, let us discuss the primary valency and secondary valency as i said that primary valency is nothing but the oxidation number of central metal atom so the thing is that uh, consider it as x now ammonia being a neutral ligand will give zero and one chloride has got minus one so three chlorine will have uh, minus three so it is zero so x is equal to three so here it means that the uh, the oxidation state of the central metal is nothing but plus three it means the primary valency is also plus three then secondary valency as i said is nothing but the coordination number and if you see the uh, the coordination number over here that is number of ligands directly attached is nothing but six so secondary valency is six and then if you analyze in all these cases the primary valency will come as three only and here if you see the secondary valence that is, that is nothing but coordination number that is 5 plus 1, uh, 6, 4 plus 2, 6, 3 plus 3, 6. In all the cases the secondary valency is also 6 only. So the thing is that uh, now what now what were the evidences? Which evidences uh, actually supported uh, that these actually these are the structure uh, which are existing? Like for example these uh, the evidences were electrical conductance measurement. then cryoscopic measurements and lastly precipitation reactions uh, the thing is that if suppose uh, we carry out if suppose we put all of them into the aqueous solution what is going to happen These are the ones uh, which are present in the ionization sphere. So, so we will get three chloride ions. We get three chloride ions in this particular case. We get two chlorides in, in, in this particular case. Now then, and then there are no uh, counter ions present in the last complex. Now, if you see in in all these cases, here I am getting four ions, and then in this particular case, I am getting uh, three ions, that including this one and um, these two. Then here I am getting two chloride, uh, two ions actually, including this one and this one, and here there are no ions. So electrical conductance measurement supported that higher the number of ions present higher will be the electrical conductivity. So hence all of them were differing in terms of their electrical conductivity. Next one was cryoscopic measurement. Measurement. We know that it is a colligative property which is dependent on number of particles present or the number of ions present and here the greater number of ions are present here the lesser number of ions are present. So obviously they were all of them were differing. The most important evidence was, evidence was precipitation reaction. If suppose you are putting aqua, uh, if suppose you are putting uh, excess of AgNO3 in this. So what will happen? Three chloride ions are free, which will combine with three Ag plus, and uh, this compound is going to give three um, the precipitation for three moles of AgCl. And here we'll get two moles of AgCl. Here we'll get one mole of AgCl, and here uh, we we are going to get zero moles of AgCl. So uh, what? So the thing is that the structure that was supported by precipitation reaction was the same as that was predicted by the Werner. And uh, so this was about the. Uh, evidences. Uh, this was about the evidences uh, that of the Werner theory and his postulate.
now the next theory that i have to discuss is sidwick's electronic theory now what does sidwick's electronic theory says it says that the ligands donate electron pair to the metal metal atom so the thing is that if suppose uh, we take this into the consideration now every ligand will donate one lone pair of electron to the metal so there will be lots of accumulation of um, a negative charge on the central metal atom so the thing is that uh, the complex will be overall unstable but this is not true the coordination compounds are quite stable what do i mean is if suppose i have got metal the theory says ligands donate lone pair of electron to the metal forming a coordinate covalent bond but if you take this into the consideration there will be accumulation of lots of a uh, negative charge on the metal making the overall complex unstable but which is not true so the thing is that this discrepancy was explained by a principle called as electron neutrality principle so electron neutrality principle explains how a metal can get rid of the that accumulated negative charge one of the way that the metal can do so is uh, if suppose it has got higher oxidation state if suppose the metal has got higher oxidation state it means it is more electron deficient if it is electron deficient it means it is able to accept those lone uh, those electron pairs donated by the ligands um, to the more extent than uh, in comparison with the metal having lower oxidation state secondly if suppose the ligands attached to metal are highly electronegative and highly electronegative met, uh, elements means what like fluorine like fluorine uh, ligand then uh, we have got uh, any like h2o which is got oxygen which is also quite electronegative so so these are the, uh, the so this, this is one of the way how uh, an atom can get rid of uh, negative charges if suppose the ligands attached to metal are highly electronegative elements then third way how a metal can get rid of negative charge and then uh, leading to a stability if suppose the ligand has got empty pi star orbitals or empty d orbital so the ligands having empty pi star orbitals or d orbitals are also going to stabilize how means if suppose this metal has got a lots of uh, negative charge accumulated and if suppose it, it has got empty d orbital so it can uh, do back bonding and can give the electron density towards ligand and can stabilize itself and thereby uh, thereby overall leading to the stability of complex now uh, the last way could be if suppose uh, the coordination uh, compound has got lower coordination number like for example coordination number could be 4 it could be 8 uh, it could be 6 also so the uh, uh, a coordination compound having four um, as coordination number will be more stable than the coordination compound having uh, six uh, coordination number so the lesser number of ligands attached or the lesser the coordination number more will be the stability so the electron neutrality principle actually has got many application uh, it it explains whether a, a given complex can exist or not it also explains um, the thermodynamic stability of various complexes let us see the application if suppose i have got this complex now if you check this complex has got a plus 3 state and this complex has got a plus 2 state as i said a metal or a complex which has uh, in which the metal has got higher oxidation state is more stable now this fact we got to know because of electron neutrality principle now suppose we want to know
if suppose we want to know which among the following complex will exist in reality or which among the following complex is more stable now if you see in this uh, in uh, now both of them have got same oxidation state we can't compare uh, these two complexes on the basis of oxidation state now we have to compare them on the basis of the ligands which is attached to them so the thing is that if you see this particular ligand uh, this is a pi acceptor ligand so it is going to uh, like accept the uh, electron density from the metal and hence going to stabilize the complex but if you see this particular the, the chlorine even has got uh like lesser uh, lesser tendency to uh, accept the electron pairs in comparison to this so this is more stable uh, than this particular complex so there are many applications of electron neutrality principle on the basis of which we will even solve the questions uh, in the next lecture we will be discussing about classification of ligands thank you